This quick video will describe how to enter data into Google Sheets, create a scatter plot, and to find a trend line. First thing you do is get into Google Sheets. Uh, you need a Gmail account to do this, or a Google account. Um, and since you're a student at Everett Community College, you have automatically a, a Gmail account associated with your name. Once you're here, you just click on the blank here to create a blank spreadsheet. We're going to title our columns here. First one will be years after 2000. We always do years after some marker, and year 2000 is a nice, easy one to use. In the second column, I'm going to put my enrollment. And the data I have is from 2008 to 2012. So it's 2008, 2009, 2010, 11, and 12. Then I will enter in the information that I have. So in 2008, there were 1,656. Uh, 2009 is 1,884. And then 2,082, 1,906, and 1,961. So there's my information. I can clean this up a little bit by highlighting all this data and creating some borders here. I'm going to put borders around everything. And then I also nice like to bold my uh, header column here. I'll get this a little bit wider so it fits nicely. And then I'm just going to center everything. This is all unnecessary, but I like the look of it. Now what I'm going to do is create my scatter plot. So I'm just going to highlight all my data, including the header column here, and go over to Insert Chart. The default chart's not what I'm looking for. This is a column type or a bar graph. What I want is a scatter chart. So I'm going to scroll down here to scatter, and this is what I want, a scatter chart. And this plots your data points. Now for each of these, right, 2008, as typed in in the, column, or the table above, I have each of my enrollment information here. Now on what I want to do is I'm going to click on this information, or one of these data points. It'll pull up the series data. Over here on the right, what I'm going to do is click on trend line. So I click on trend line, and it puts this line right here. This is the equation that best models the data, or the line that best models the data. I can change this a little if I want to make this bigger when I print it out. I can just slide it like that. Um, what I'm going to do now is over here I click trend line. Uh, I'm looking for label. What I'm going to do is use equation. And if you've seen right over here, that equation shows up. So I'm given the equation of this line of 63.2x plus 1266. That is the basic steps for creating a scatter plot and applying the trend line and having Google Sheets calculate the trend line for me. As you can see, too, I'll just say it's given me a title and axis titles that were the same as the ones I, d I put in the, the chart right here. That's what's really a good way of putting this information here. It'll automatically put that information in for you.